So Jackie Chan is desperately trying to escape from the bad guys. He leaps from the top of one building across an alley to the top of another building that is 10 meters shorter than the first, barely clearing, clearing the alley. If his jump is 31.9 meters per second at 31 degrees above the horizontal, how wide is the alley? Well, let's draw a picture to start. So here's the building, here's the alleyway, here's the top, and here's Jackie. And he's jumping. Alright, let's describe the jump first. The jump happens 31.9 meters per second at 31 degrees. So this is 31 degrees. Alright? Now, and he barely clears the alley, so we'll assume that the width of the alley is just delta x. Alright? We know that this building is 10 meters shorter than the first, so that means delta y is 10 and what else do we know? That's it. And we're, so we're looking for delta x. So let's start writing down some knowns. We know that vi um, is 31.9 meters per second. Notice this is not vi x, this is not vi y, this is vi. This is the velocity at 31 degrees. So we know that. Um, we also happen to know ay, acceleration in y direction, negative 9.8 meters per second square. Uh, we know delta y, which is negative 10, because it's a distance down. We know, I should make that negative over here too. Um, we don't know vf. We can figure out viy and vix, right? Because we know how to do trig, so we can just do 31.9 sine of 31 to get that, and 31.9 cosine of 31 to get that. So let me go ahead and do that. So we have those. Um, and what do we want? We want delta x. So the only way we know to get delta x, which is what we want our answer to be, is, it, is the formula we used on the David Ortiz question, if you watched that or if you didn't. Remember that since there's no no acceleration in the x-direction, we can say v x equals delta x over delta t. Now we've already got v x because it's the same as v i x in this case. So we need delta t. How can we find delta t? Well, we can do some kinematics over here. Um, we've got v i y a y and delta y, well, in a perfect world, we would just do this. We'd just do delta y equals vi t, vi y t plus one half a y t squared. But we can't solve this easily for t because vi y is not zero. So we don't want to do that. So instead, what we want to do is find VF. So let's find VF. VF squared equals VI squared plus 2A delta Y. And these are all Y's. So let's take the square root of both sides. So I'll just go ahead and do that here. So plugging in, we get 16.4297 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times negative 10. So that equals so I got 21.5855 meters per second for VF. This is VF. Now uh, let me write this up here somewhere. This is VFY. Uh, actually, I'll just move it up there. Here we go. We got VF. 
y. All right, now this makes sense because viy was 16 point something, and we, if it was symmetrical, we would expect vf to be negative 16, but we keep going, so it should be bigger than 16. But do notice, this is the big issue people were having on this question, it's negative because when, when Jackie Chan jumps, he's going to jump and go, he'll be going down when he gets here. So VF is negative. Now we can find T though. Um, and the easiest way is probably VF equals VI plus AT. So T is just going to be VFY minus VIY over AY. So plugging in, no 21.5. 855 minus 16.4297 divided by negative 9.8 equals about 3.8791 seconds. This is just delta t. Okay, now we just said that if we had delta t, we could find x. So put that over 1, cross multiply, we get delta x equals vx delta t. We have both those. vx is 27.5855. Nope. 27.3436. And then delta t is 3.8791. Okay, it's really I ran out of space. Okay, that product about 106.0686. 106.0686. Let's go check it. And we got it. I am aware this is an unrealistically long distance for Jackie Chan to jump. Or is it? It is Jackie Chan.